Hello, young explorers. Welcome back to Reading Redness Centers. Today, we are going on an exciting journey to learn about something incredible, Earth's crust and its changes. Have you ever noticed that the Earth's surface is not smooth? It has mountains, valleys, oceans, and plains. These features are all part of the Earth's crust, the outermost layer of our planet. The crust is made up of different types of rocks that are constantly changing. First, let's understand what Earth's crust is. Imagine our planet as a big, round, and colorful ball. The outer layer, which we walk and play on, is called the Earth's crust. Earth's crust is like a giant puzzle made up of pieces called tectonic plates. These plates fit together like a jigsaw puzzle, but they don't stay still. These tectonic plates are always moving, and this movement can cause some incredible changes on our planet. For example, when two tectonic plates push against each other, they can create magnificent mountains, just like the mighty Himalayas. Mountains are formed when plates collide. The force of the collision pushes the rocks upward, creating tall peaks. Volcanoes, on the other hand, happen when molten rock deep inside the earth, called magma, bursts out through the crust. It's like a fiery mountain that erupts with hot lava. In other words, volcanoes are also formed at plate boundaries. When molten rock from the Earth's mantle rises up to the surface, it can erupt from a volcano. Earthquakes are another exciting part of Earth's crust changes. When tectonic plates suddenly slide past each other, they can release a lot of energy, causing the ground to shake. The crust also changes through erosion. Erosion is the process of rocks and soil being worn away by wind, water, and ice. Over time, erosion can carve out valleys, canyons, and rivers. It can also create beaches and sand dunes. Weathering is another process that changes the crust. Weathering is the process of rocks breaking down into smaller pieces due to exposure to the elements. Rain, wind, ice, and heat can all cause weathering. Weathered rocks are easier to erode, so weathering can contribute to the formation of new landforms. The Earth's crust is constantly changing, but these changes happen very slowly. It takes thousands or even millions of years for mountains to form, valleys to be carved out, and coasts to change shape. However, these changes are still happening today. We can see the evidence of these changes in the landforms around us. Did you know that the Earth's continents were once all connected in a supercontinent called Pangaea? Over millions of years, they moved apart to form the continents we see today. As the continents drifted apart, they carried plants and animals with them. That's why we find similar fossils on continents that are now far apart. But the changes to Earth's crust aren't just about mountains, volcanoes, and earthquakes. Over time, wind, water, and ice can also shape the land. They create amazing features like canyons, caves, and beaches. Glacier, which are like giant rivers of ice, can slowly carve valleys and leave behind stunning landscapes. So, young explorers, Earth's crust is always on the move, and it's responsible for the fantastic landforms we see today. Isn't that fascinating? We hope you enjoyed this adventure with us. If you learned something new today, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to Reading Redness Centers for more exciting learning journeys. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious. Bye for now.